Hey guys, thanks for joining us on probably one of my favorite cars in the entire world. I love to drive these cars. I just, I don't know why, it's just the sound that this thing makes, the look of this car, the styling has just held up so well. Uh, I like to put big wheels and tires on them because it just fills up the whole thing. Sometimes they look great with stock wheels and tires, I don't care. They are just fabulous cars. If you've never owned one, this may be one of the best buys in the entire world, like versus sticker price, versus a low mileage car. Plus they drive nice, the chassis is super solid, the engine is spectacular. Uh, la, la, la. All right, let's keep going on this because I get so excited about it. Anyway, so we talk about the Gran Turismo, so four and a half liter would be a view of Gran Turismo. The S's are gonna give you 4.7 liters, 450-ish horsepower, right? That's a lot of juice, man. And through the six-speed automatic, independent rear or whatever, not only does it scoot down the road, but when you push the sport button, you get a full suspension change, you get full electronics change under the hood, and you also get the baffles that open up in the exhaust, and it is sick. So at the end of the video, make sure you listen to that with the sport and without sport, with sport, without sport. I'm telling you, you just rip the sport button right out of the dash and just wire it all up so that the mufflers stay open for the rest of your life. You're going to love it. All right, so Maserati Italian paint quality. These aren't built in the U.S. They're built in an Italian factory. Uh, the engines are uh, very much uh, Ferrari-derived V8s. They share a lot of the same components. These are tuned for a little less uh, RPMs, but more lower torque, so you don't have to wring them out. That's all underneath here. But what does look great is the spectacular Nero paint, right? You want to be able to read every letter in that, right? Not just that you can see it in there, but you can read every letter. And you can see that they really did a nice job, especially under these harsh lights. This car just sparkles. All right, so most people don't know that the Gran Turismo, believe it or not, is a mid-engine car. You're saying, tell them the engine's up front. How could it possibly be a mid-engine car? Huh? Here is why they handle so well, they ride so well. So here is the center of the wheel, okay? And most engines like to be on top of the wheel. This car here, the engine is actually behind the center line of the wheel. The rest of all of this is just for the style of the car. And I'll show you what I mean by that. We look under here. First off, this is one of the most gorgeous engines ever with these red cam covers, right? This black powder coated intake manifold. All of this right here, this is just covers for the styling of the car. But the engine itself starts right here. The center of the wheel is up here, engine here. Center wheel here, engine here. It's just beautiful and it works so well. All right, so a lot of times people say to me, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know it's why it's a great looking car. It's the little detail stuff. For instance, this has a black package on it, meaning that the handles, all of the chrome pieces, the exhaust tips and things like that, are black from the factory. And it makes and adds to this whole aura of this murdered out beautiful car. The only thing that you can really see are these giant red calipers and these beautiful taillights. This section here, beautifully built from behind. The styling is held up so well, and I love this emblem. Anytime I'm at a light, I always look in my rear view mirror, because you're sitting there and you always see somebody go, Right? And they love it. And I love that. I love the fact that people love cars when they see that. So a semi-functional trunk, but there's a lot of room in the back seat. This is actually has the largest back seat of any Grand Touring Coupe uh, out there. Uh, the convertibles have actually even more room because the trunk is smaller, but the coupes have a, a little bigger trunk. And this model here uh, has in it the uh, tire inflator as well, and also has uh, in it the uh, tool kit. Right? and a battery tender charger uh, because this is a super low miles. This car has 16,000 miles on it. It's a 2016. We're doing this video in 2020. So you can tell that uh, it was driven very, very little. And then once we get inside, you'll see that this is very special ordered car, very special uh, designation. It may be the only one of its kind like this. All right, so come join me inside here because this, this is, man, this is so nice. White stitching. I had these mats made with the white piping on them, right, to match that. This is Alcantara. The dash is Alcantara. The headliner, uh, fabric, uh, the armrest, Alcantara. This console is done in Alcantara, right? Climate control, separate for both sides. Nav, great set of gauges. They're blue-faced. You need to see them, man. They are so beautiful. It's like that's what the Italians do. They just do, like, look at this emblem on the dash. Gran Turismo Sport, right? It's just a beautiful emblem. And I don't know why they're able to do little things like these chrome rings around each knob, right, in each button that's right here. 
It's just a little touch of those things, right? Uh, the steering wheel is awesome. They put this stitch right here. So when you're racing this car, if you were driving this car really hard, so if you wanted to know if the steering wheel was centered, right? Instead of looking at anything else, you'll know that this is up in that position, flat on the bottom so that it, uh, you have some more room for your legs. And, you know, then you have all of the great things like heated seats, keyless entry, of course, power windows and power locks and alarm system and digital sound. And uh, this has the Bose uh, stereo in it here with the subwoofer, I believe, mounted back there. The back seat really, believe it or not, is as beautiful as the front seat. It has this. Uh, these right here are stitched into uh, the headrest for, for the front and the back with the white stitching all around it. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous interior. And you'll take a little video of that so you can see that. And again, you know, power seats, whatever you can drive. I guess the bottom line on this car is you can drive on this car uh, for hours and hours and feel refreshed when you get out of it. It's just so comfortable. It makes so much power and it's effortless. All right, so let's close up the video on one of the world's greatest uh, sports cars ever. Gran Turismo Sport, super low miles, black everything, black package, black handles, all of those things. This one happens to have uh, the 22 inch black diamond upgraded rims on it, right? Um, they look spectacular. If you don't love those, no big deal. We have stock sets of wheels here. We can put those on. No big deal. Tell us how you like it. Not everybody likes everything and totally up to you. Low miles, custom ordered with the Alcantara interior from the factory, right? That's a very expensive interior. This was ordered for somebody. This wasn't just sitting on the lot and somebody said, oh, wow, great. I'll take that. Low mileage, garage kept, serviced, powerful, amazing, right? I love driving these cars. I hope you do too. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. I'll tell you all about this Gran Turismo S Sport, right? And uh, don't forget, if you would, share that video with some friends out there. And, uh, and if you could like it. Also, I'd love to hear if you have any Maserati stories. We'd love to talk about that in there. And we're going to go for a test drive in a minute. I hope you get to see that as well.